what you're doing. I just got hot. I'm wearing jeans today. <laughs> you know what else I realized? What's that? I left my Crocs on. I was trying to get it on camera. I think it's too dark. Oh, yeah. This is the man I married. <laughs> How's it going? All right, so that where that sign is, uh, you pull anywhere behind that sign, just face the brewery, because we have a full load tonight, we got lots of people. Okay. So we'll just stack them uh, parallel to each other, all between the tents. Okay. So wherever you want, other than that though. All right, thank you. Well, you guys know how much we love our harvest house, so we're getting here at a decent time. It's a gorgeous day, hopefully we'll be able to sit outside some. We are right up against the interstate, so there will be some noise, but that's okay. Right up against the interstate means that it is easy to get in and out of this spot. So I'm gonna help Mike back up and then we'll go check it out. ready for that long walk <laughs> so I don't know if we said it I don't know if you can really hear me over all the road noise we're at Debelation Brewing and I'm gonna ask to clarify the pronunciation of it but it's a brewery here just outside of Savannah in Richmond Hill Georgia awesome setup a nice wide grassy area but it is right on the interstate which again good and bad for that super welcoming so we're gonna go in and check it out So I'm Dave, I'm Dev, uh, owner of Devilation Brand Company. I've been home brewing for about eight years, um, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, wanted to take it to a professional level, so I considered my Irish pub as a brew pub. And then uh, I thought, well, I can brew beer there, but I still have to deal with 40 employees and a whole kitchen. So I decided to uh, sell that and then make my own brewery and just so I could just brew beer and just be done with that. How did you get involved in Harvest Host? Uh, some Harvest Host people stopped by here before we were actually Harvest Host and said you should do Harvest Host. So uh, I looked into it and it's been really great uh, becoming a host. So uh, no regrets there. It's actually helped us a lot. So. Harvest House is great. It works out for you guys as campers and us as, uh, as business owners. Right. Uh, it's really beneficial for both parties. So, wish I had gotten started a long time ago doing it. Here we are, number one Harvest House brewery site. Oh. Look, my crazy hair. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo for the win. Alright, is it time? It's a must have for dry camping. Yes. <clears throat> Short hair. Okay. Where to today, kid? Augusta. So we needed just a few nights and we wanted to find a cheaper stay with full hookups. So we found a city park, Diamond Lakes, in Augusta, Georgia, $30 a night for full hookups. We're just gonna hunker down there because as per usual there's a storm coming through and it's gonna be kind of miserable weather the next few days. So Hit the road, only a few hour drive, and see how it goes. Hi, 
I know we're here a few minutes early before one o'clock check-in, but someone is very much hooked up in site 26. Yes, he, he is. He actually called me earlier this morning. He had a little battery issue that he got fixed, and he's charging it, and he called me to let me know that he was still in the site. If you just give me a second, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to call him, and I'm going to look to see, and I will call you back as soon as I get in my system, okay? Okay. All right, so when we got here, somebody was in our spot, which has never happened to us. The lady that was working here, the host was super nice. Uh, she's ending up comping us one night stay here, which really helps our budget out. But we're just waiting for this guy to get out of our spot. He has to charge his batteries and stuff, so we're going to give him a little bit of time to do that. Not a huge deal little inconvenient so we're just gonna go walk around I think a little bit and check the park out yeah. is that all right stretch our legs because like I said weather's gonna be crummy the next couple days so we're gonna enjoy this gorgeous weather yeah. making the best of a not so great situation it's finally time so the guy got everything packed up finally and left. We did have to wait a good hour and a half or so, which is obviously a little frustrating, but when things like this happen, we always say you can either make the best of it and kind of roll with the punches or you can let it ruin your day. So we're trying not to let it ruin our day. It's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. We're excited about the site, ready to get hooked up and enjoy some of this nice weather. So Mike is circling the block. I'm gonna help him get parked here and we'll get everything hooked up. Once again, we find ourselves in a weird sewage hookup situation. <laughs> it's all the way in the front here, so, so I have to do it first. I never do it first. No, this is not the normal order of operations. We just backed up, we're level, but we're not gonna unhitch because the sewage is here. Electric and water is back here. But on the camper, the sewage drain is there, and the electric and water is up there. What in the world? Oh, my soul. Why? Yeah, this should be fun. But I don't know what you're gonna do with that size difference. Oop. Oh, I hate that. I'm just gonna have to pray, I guess. All right, so Steph is the fire starter in the family, and she's very protective. Oh, you wanna come out? There was some gunshots earlier. She is very protective of her fire. So I got about two minutes before she took over, which is like a record, I mean. That's, that's absolutely true. I have it recorded well, I have in Wyoming. Oh, in Wyoming. <laughs> So I was gonna sit this one out. I was totally gonna sit it out. I said, you got this, I believe in you. And he's just stepped back and I was like, well, if you're saying I can do it. I guess I'll manage the hot dogs. If, if, am I allowed that? Am I that terrible of a person? No. <gasps> that was a big hesitation. Okay. What do you got going on here? It's a no. DiGiorno cardboard. <laughs> No judgment, this looks pretty wet. For the record, we did not gather fallen sticks. We're very against that in state parks that these were like already in here. So it's not a state park, county park, but regardless. Lights, camera, hall, drive. All right, next leg of this trip, Atlanta, here we come. <laughs> 